Hi, this is Neil Gordon. I'm CEO at the Discovery Museums, and this is On the Bright Side. On the Bright Side is a production of the Acton Boxborough United Way, and the Discovery Museum has been trying to help out with that. Uh, we're really pleased to have with us today Mike Tobia, who is one of the founders and, and uh, operators of the Mount Calvary Community Supper. Um, Mike, welcome to On the Bright Side. Thank you, Neil. Mike, can you tell us a little bit about the the history of the Mount, uh, the Mount Calvary Community Supper and how many people you've been seeing and things like that? Sure. It was always a dinner program. And then in the late nine, in the early nineties, it turned into a dinner combo pantry program. And in 2011, they, de they decided that the focus needed to be on the pantry, but it left a gap for those folks who needed a Wednesday supper, a small group of us from Mount Calvary decided to give the supper a try. Um, and we made that decision with no volunteers, no funding. Um, but I will tell you the first place that I went was the United Way. So the United Way grant cycle had already passed. Um, and I'm, I'm walking in in January to talk about potentially opening the supper again. Um, and if it wasn't for the help of the United Way back in 2012 um, and Mount Calvary, there would not be a supper. So uh, fortunately, um, their good works enabled us to start up. Uh, um, our very first supper, we had 30 folks, and we got up to 60 to 65 pretty quick. Um, but our numbers now are up in the 100, 100 to 125 range. Wow, that's, that's amazing how, how much it's grown, Mike. Now, I understand that, unfortunately, you, you know, given the conditions, you can't do sit-down sit dinners now, and you're doing, you're doing takeout. Um, how, how's that been working for you? It's been working great. Um, it's the, the most difficult thing is part of our mission is social interaction with folks. The parking lot, while it allows us to, to address the food situation, it doesn't allow us to address the social interaction component. Yeah, I can imagine your guests are really missing the part where they get to be together in the, in the sense of community. And I know you have a lot of volunteers. Um, how, how have the volunteers been holding up during, during all of this? In order for us to do uh, the supper the way that we're doing it now, we need about 90 volunteers. Um, and you, you're assigned to a certain specialty. So you, it may be cooking, it may be cleanup, it may be handing out food um, at the um, parking lot. Um, but our, our volunteers are doing a fantastic job, just an absolute fantastic job. And I know that there's been some uh, coordination going on among all of, of you folks working on, on food security issues that the United Way helped organize. And, right. You know, some story about, about the Groton School. Could you tell us about that? So um, fortunately, um, every Friday, there's a food insecurity um, meeting like this, um, where everyone that touches human resources in either Acton or Boxborough uh, attend this session. An opportunity took place uh, late in the week um, for uh, food that had to be picked up at the Groton School um, and transferred to another location. And there were 31 plus items that equated to about four to five meals for 125 people. Um, but quite honestly, we, we, had no we had no space to store that as well. But because of that call and because of Carol Busey's help, um, we were able to get a freezer space um, that day uh, at Acton Congregational Church. So we picked up the food, 
we moved it to the church and now we have enough enough food for uh, like i indicated four to five meals it's great when uh, community organizations are able to support each other like that congratulations to all of you what what you know i know the community probably would love to help out the mount calvary community supper what how best can they help you the best way to support us is we have a P.O. Box 1125 in Acton. Um, and if you can um, help us in any way, uh, it would be deeply appreciated. That's great. I, would, I assume if they make, they make the check to the Mount Calvary Community Supper? That's correct. Terrific. Hopefully folks will do that. Like, you know, I know these are challenging times, but, it, you know, all the wonderful people you work with, have there been any sort of you know, bright sides for you in all of this challenge? Um, if you think about it, there's 90 individuals uh, who have no problem coming every week to cook a meal for strangers, basically, um, and hand out those meals out in a difficult situation. Um, those are our heroes. Those volunteers, at least in our minds, are absolutely our heroes, and we, we couldn't make it happen without having those volunteers. That's really wonderful, Mike. And, and I'm sure they look to you as their hero, as, as, uh, as somebody who's leading all of this. We really appreciate uh, both you, you spending the time with us today and for all you've been doing for the community for so many years. So. Um, I, I'm looking forward to when all those folks can come back and have it, have dinner together at the community supper. That's it for today for, for the bright side. Thank you.